12v1, as you well know, I unfortunately had to cancel my trip to Disneyland because of this whole coronavirus outbreak, and I decided, you know what, let's go ahead and make some Disneyland corn dogs, so that's what we'll be doing today. Alright, to get started, we're going to need a cup of cornmeal. And we're just going to add this into like a medium-sized bowl. And we're also going to need one cup of all-purpose flour. So in it goes. And we're also going to need... So this is baking powder. It's two teaspoons of baking powder. And we're going to need a half a teaspoon of salt. And let's see. This is our sugar. We're going to need two tablespoons of sugar, and let's just go ahead and add this in. And that's all of the dry ingredients for our batter, so we're just going to go ahead and whisk this up. So we're going to want to make sure this is incorporated thoroughly, because we want all of our baking powder spread throughout our dry mixture. This will ensure that our batter rises once it gets onto the corn dog. That's what helps to give it that iconic puffy look. And that's pretty good. So now we're just going to go ahead and add one large egg. In it goes. And we're going to add one and a quarter cups of buttermilk. And we're going to add two tablespoons of melted butter. Let's just go ahead and add that in. And now we're just going to go ahead and whisk this in. And as you can see, this batter is really, really stiff, but that's what we want. That way, it is able to stick to our hot dog. Now that our batter is mixed up all the way, we're going to go ahead and transfer it to this large drinking glass. And this is just going to make it easier to dip our corn dog, because I think it's kind of difficult to dip it in this huge bowl. And I'm just going to do it over this large bowl. That way, we catch any drips that might dribble down the side of this cup. And there we go, we don't want to fill it all the way to the top, because as you will know, once we put our hot dog in there, it's going to rise up. Now we're going to want to skewer our hot dog with our skewer. And there we go, that looks pretty good. So now we're just going to go ahead and dunk it in here. The key to getting your batter to stick is to make your hot dog very dry, so I just dried them all off with a paper towel. We're just going to swirl it around. You know what? Actually, I think I'm going to add a little bit more of our batter in now, because as you can see, it's not super easy to get the very end of the hot dog in, because it is pretty long. And there we go. And as you can see, I'm just going to give it a little swirl and pull it out. And there's your corn dog. All right, let's go ahead and add our corn dog to our hot oil. It is 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're also going to want to get our tongs, and we're going to want to flip this around so that it gets thoroughly browned. Actually, it's probably a little bit cold now, so we're just going to let it stay in here for a little bit before we turn it around. Right now, we're just turning it so it gets browned all around. Our hot dog looks nice and golden brown now, so we're going to go ahead and transfer it to a plate that has a paper towel on it. This will soak up any excess grease. Alright, it's time to try a corn dog now. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. No? That's really good. In fact... I like it a lot better than the Disneyland corn dog. I think this batter has a stronger corn flavor than the Disneyland corn dog. I think it's a lot fluffier to me. A Disneyland corn dog, it doesn't have that much of a corn flavor. It's kind of mild and it tastes really rich and greasy, though I do enjoy it. But I think this one's even better. And the Disneyland corn dog, I think their hot dog is not as good quality. I think this is a much better hot dog. So overall, I think this is really good. I have to give it an 8 out of 10, so I really go recommend you go ahead and try this recipe out for yourself.